Now, if we go to say something a little more complicated, now I'm going to jump a couple steps here. I'm going to jump to. Um, I'm going to jump to carbon. Now carbon has six electrons. Six electrons. So I got to deal with six electrons here. And I have to kind of do them in order. And when well, you don't even know what that order is necessarily, but I'm going to tell you that's why we're here, right? So we're going to start at the beginning. We're going to start with the first energy level. And the first energy level has an S sublevel, so I have to take care of that. So, okay, first energy level, it's got a sublevel. And that sublevel can hold up to two electrons. Okay. Well, there's two electrons. Remember, this power represents the amount of electrons. All right. I'm not going to do the boxes. I'm not through the orbital notation yet. Not yet, but let's go through this. So, okay, the, the, the two electrons. I have two. One, two here. Now, but that's filled now. Now I have to start going into the second energy level. Well, the second energy level, I would write a two. And then I squish it all together. You just literally just kind of squish it all right next to each other. And the thing is, well, the second energy level has an S and a P sublevel. Well, here's the thing. You always start every sublevel with the S. And then if you fill that, then you go to the P. And then if you go to higher energy levels, you start with the S. And then you go to the P. And then you might go to the D. So this order remains pretty consistent. Always start with the S. Well, S start start starts with S, right? So you start with S. S, -s, -s start S. S start, right? Makes sense. So the second energy level has its S electrons. And again, any S sublevel can hold up to two electrons. Well, I need to get the six. I have two here. This can hold a maximum of two. So I'm going to put, it, put those electrons in there. So now I have two and two electrons. Um, remember, this is just electron count. So I got two here and two here. This is just a label of where those electrons are. So I have two electrons and two electrons. I've, I've represented four. But I'm not done because I need to represent all six electrons. And so I now have to go to the P sublevel. Well, some students just want to write a P, and I understand that because you're in the second energy level. But, but the notation is, and there's a reason why, and you'll learn, understand later, but you have to write the two again. You have to write the two. Let me write it more, a little better. And then you're going to write P. So this is the, the P sublevel and the second energy level. That's what that says. And then we have to represent how many electrons are we going to put here? Well, we're not going to put six. Yes, the P sublevel can hold up to six, but I don't need all six spots. How many spots do I need? Well, I did two electrons here, two electrons here. That's four. Two plus two is four out of the six. I got two more electrons to place. And so I put that here. Those two leftover electrons are there. Okay? So, that tells me where the electrons are living. Now, when I draw this with the orbital diagram, remember, orbitals are pairings of electrons. Electrons like to pair when they can. Um, and so, well, the S orbital can only hold two electrons. That's a pair. The, this S, this S sublevel can also only hold two electrons. Well, that's a possible pair. But the P electrons. Note how I'm writing this, writing this out. One S, its electrons. Two S, its electrons, and then two P. Then we're going to write its electrons. Well, I'll, we'll get that in a minute. So let's fill in what we know. We know that this first sublevel and the first energy level. It's going to get two electrons. That means we're going to get an up and a down spin. The up is always written first. That represents the two electrons doing their dance, doing their spins together. Nice and balanced. The second energy, or the second energy level starts off again with an S sublevel, and that has its two electrons. So again, we're going to write the up arrow 
and we're going to write the down arrow. They have to be written up and down. There are quantum mechanics behind this. It, you, you, it has to follow some sets of rules. The P sublevel. We're like, oh, it's two, it's a pair, so we're just going to draw a box. And I'm going to write up and down, and I'm going to tell you that that is wrong. It's wrong. And you're going to look at me like I'm um, nuts, but uh, that may be true, but for other reasons. But, but for this, we need to understand a couple things. When we represent a sublevel, we have to draw all the or whether we're using whether we're using them or not. We're going to draw all the orbitals for the entire sublevel. There are six possible electrons for p. How many pairs is that? Divided by two. How many pairs? Six divided by two. Three. So there are three possible orbitals here. And we put those right next to each other. So that's three boxes or three lines. This could hold up to two, this could hold up to two, this could hold up to two. That would be a total of possibly six. Possibly six total electrons. That's three orbitals, three pairs, totaling possibly six. Okay. All right, so I gotta put in the two electrons. All right, one, two. Wrong. Nope. 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 I know. I know you're cursing at me. That's fine. When? Uh, uh, don't blame me. Blame Mother Nature. She she made it this way, right? So when these electrons start to fill in a sublevel, there's a rule that every orbital first must be filled with one electron before pairing begins. Meaning, you can't draw any down arrows until you've drawn all the up arrows. That's the rule. Now, each of these rules has a special name, which you've read about, so you better match the name with the, with the rule or you're reading about. Okay. We'll talk more next class, but I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to take away from from just this process with additional information with the, with the naming of the rules. Point B. I always use um. You know when you're when you're when you're, although in these days with all the all the germs about getting on a bus anymore is is uh, I don't know how many people are actually taking the bus anymore. But back in the olden days before COVID. If you were to get on a bus to go to school, right, you're getting picked up in the morning. And you jump on the bus and, you know, say you were going to jump on the bus, but somebody was seated at one of the seats, you know, those bench seats. Well, when you jump on the bus, I mean, yes, it could be your great friend and you might want to sit next to them, but say it's not a great friend. Say it's just somebody you really don't know. So you jump on the bus and there's somebody sitting there you really don't know. Well, are you going to go sit right next to them? Or are you gonna go and grab an empty seat for yourself? Most of us are probably gonna grab that empty seat, right? And so that's kind of what electrons do. They each fill half the orbital first. When this has an up arrow, this has an up arrow, and this has an up arrow, then if there's additional electrons, we might start filling in the down arrows downward spin electrons. That's just the way it works. There's no arguing. I mean, it's just the way it is. And so this would represent carbon. Um, we'll do one more that's quite long and complicated, but it'll take you through a good portion of um, everything you need to know. So let's do, let's do sulfur. Sulfur. Sulfur has um, 16 electrons. 16 electrons, that's a lot of electrons. Oh, trust me, later in this, in this unit, we're gonna go into 
you know, 80 plus electrons, 80 plus arrows you have to draw. Uh, but let's not get there yet. 16. So we start off with the first energy level and we start off with the S sub level and we use two of those electrons. All right, that's, that's what's happening. All right, gotta put them in the first energy level. It's only S sub level. Sure. Go to the second energy level. Well, the second energy level has an S sub level. And so we, we fill S start, S start. We fill it with the S first, right? So, okay. And that has a possibility of two total electrons, maximum. That's all an S can hold. Any S sub level can only hold two. So, okay, then we go to the P. Well, on here, I can fill in six more electrons because the P sub level can hold six total electrons. So this is holding two, that's holding two, that's holding six, that's two, uh, the 10, I, I, I got 10 electrons taken care of. I still got six more to go. Okay, well, I'm out of room now in the second energy level. I filled the S and I filled the P. I'm done with the second level. Now I must start putting electrons in the third energy level. And again, if I'm starting the third energy level, I have to start with its S sublevel. That can hold a maximum of two electrons. All right, well that's 12. I still have four more to go. Four more, right? All right, well I filled the S and now the next uh, is the P sublevel. And I'm not gonna go fill all six. I don't need all six spots, I don't. But I do need four of the six. All right, so let's double check. I got two of these and two of those is four plus six more is 10, 12, 16. I have 16 total electrons now. Now I can do my orbital diagram, which is a pain because I don't draw a lot of boxes and arrows. My 1S, there it is. I want to fill in with an up and a down. Up first, then down. Here's my 2S. I'm going to fill with an up and a down. Here's my 2P. And I have to draw all three orbitals. Again, six total electrons, but they're pairs. And watch, even though I know this whole thing is gonna be filled, the way I do it is up, 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 then down, 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 because all the ups gotta fill first. All the up spins and then down spins. Now, I'm out of room here, so I'm just gonna continue it kinda of down here as another part of the line. 3S. I have an up and a down, and a 3P. I have four to do, but I gotta draw the entire, entire sublevel. I have to draw the entire sublevel and put all three orbitals. That can hold up to, again, six electrons. And I have to do this right. Up arrow, up arrow, up arrow, down arrow. That's the way it has to look. Some of you on a test or a quiz might do up, down, up, down. And if you do this, it's wrong. But top right, I did the right electrons. I know you did the right electrons, but you put them in the wrong spot. It's wrong. All the upward arrows, all the upward spins must be filled before any downward spins fill in that sub level. Okay? So, um, again, orbital configuration, I'm sorry, electron configurations. These are orbital diagrams. This is telling you exactly where those electrons live. It's like an address, you know, this electron here. It is in the second energy level, the P sub level, it's in the second orbital with an upward spin. Like this tells you a lot of information. We in this class aren't gonna do any, anything more than just map the electrons. We're not gonna use them for any other additional information. But, you know, that is useful if, you, again, you go to courses well beyond the scope of this, of this particular uh, realm of chemistry. So give it a shot. Um, I'm gonna ask you to do a couple problems and some worksheets. Um, and next time we meet, uh, we're gonna go off the rails a little bit. So it'll be fun.